Alright, folks, the genius idiot, we are back. Like our case on Facebook. Let's head on to the next case. So as I realize that, I need to turn the music on. Near Devilman's Bridge, Texas. Case ready to debate and ask for RJ Felding's Fielding's car was last seen. We know Fielding is going to kill someone and we need to stop it. Hold up, Jake. We're just facing out Greg Schmidt's ramblings, and the guy's completely cuckoo. Maybe, but his theory seems to hold water. All the individuals responsible for the terror murders are connected by the ghost of Abigail Riley, killed five years ago. She's haunting them because she blames them for her death. Fielding is the only one who hasn't been possessed yet, but if we're right, it's only a matter of time before he kills one of his loved ones. We need to get to that house where Abigail died. Jake, pull over. I think I saw a body on the side of the road. Body? Ace, take Luke up and get out there once. Oh, you guys will be happy Luke's coming back. Inspect Devil Man's Bridge. Fielding, and he's dead. What the heck? You're supposed to stop Fielding from killing someone, not getting killed. Someone got into Fielding before the ghost could possess him and force him to commit murder? And what's the deal with the way he's strung upside down? Right, the Hangman tarot card looks a lot like this, and tarot cards are a ghost's MO. A vengeful ghost must be involved, but how? Let's check that flashlight for fingerprints, Ace. And look, there's a weird big box hidden under those leaves. Can you unlock and see what's inside? Yeah, he was supposed to be the one committing murder, so I wonder. Alright guys, I've got to uh, grab a bunch of stars, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Don't be chasing me, or what? Huh. Lizard loving guy. Don't buy it. But maybe there's some dark secrets we don't know about him. So we pretended to fancy his books. Wonder what he was doing. Wait, did you hear that twig break, Ace? 
Hello, Mr. Darkwood. Uh oh. Did you get like lost in the woods or something? You look sketchy for sure. Hello, everyone. Ugh. Oh, calm down, Mr. Darkwood. It's just us. We met Norian Rummer. What can your books? Oh, it's you, Ace. You scared living daylights out of me. Thank goodness you're here. I got lost on the road and blew a tire. I walked down the road looking for help, but all I found was some abandoned house. It's really rather creepy out here. I'd sure like to get back on the road. Do you have a wrench I could borrow? Well, I can't really go anywhere yet. Mr. Darkwood, see, there's been a murder, and uh, the police have quartered off the road up ahead. A murder? How ghastly. And yeah, the victim was a certain RJ Fielding. Maybe you've heard of him? Oh, sure. He's the oil magnet who was always in the news, right? I would have thought, I thought a guy like him could afford a bodyguard. Anyway, thanks for the heads up, Ace. I'll get to replace my tire while I wait for the police to reopen the road. Good thing you bought our cover story, Ace. Now let's check out that abandoned house. Field building visited for ourselves. Oh, that place looks creepy. You're a lizard, Harry. So, uh, what can I do for the FBI? After this, we're murdering this place. Man, the Archie Fielding is dead. Can you explain your whereabouts this evening? Would you just try to catch this rare lizard? I know you, Mr. Fielding. Are you the victim? Mr. Fielding got in touch with me a few days ago to discuss how this company could go greener. I know there's all sorts of carbon footprints and composting. It was refreshing to meet someone in the oil industry who actually cared about the environment. It's just a crime shame that he was killed before he could put it into practice. I hope his family will have a lot for a green burial. Alright. Please stay close, your RV will be missing Mr. Davis. We may need to question him again. My guess is he did not want to do that. He brought you in just to laugh at you. Pissed you off. It's been abandoned much longer than that. I don't get why Fielding would have come back here. If it was a vindictive ghost trying to possess me, I wouldn't return to where, where they were killed. I'd run in the opposite direction. Anyway, only a human could have strong Fielding after dying. Human killers leave behind clues. Briefcase belongs to the victim. It looks like it's like fully clipped and had to hang it back together. Alright, so we wanted to look at that before the painting. There's a threat among you is blind. Reads Archery will swing towards you yet be afraid. The death of the night is full of terror, the eternal darkness awaits you. Sounds like a reference to the murder ace. This must come from our killer. If he goes to make something of this threat. Well, I'm sure those letters come from some book or comic book or something. must be around here somewhere. Oh, well, spotted it's signed by Axel Frost. The artist we met back in New Mexico. Axel was a bit of a weirdo from what I recall. I'm not going to run into house. He's not doing any sanity points either. Let's get our PI at the uh, Ask Mr. Frost if he's seeing anything weird. Natural, right? Not apologies. Um, why do you ask? There's nothing remotely supernatural about this, right? You said. What do you like books? 
books and bits of paper. Yeah, ancient ones, not death threats. But since I wouldn't want you to go away empty and get rid of the first psychology book I get my hands on, most of the people with phobias make the conscious references to the object of their fear. Giving the references a threat to eternal darkness and the night being full of terrors must have come from someone who's afraid of the dark. Are you sure? I mean, reading one book doesn't make you a psychic expert. Note to self, Luke's deepest fear is appearing in conflict, which is why he questions my judgment. Alright, alright, you seem to feel afraid of the dark, I'm gonna believe you. I'm certain of it. Your killers are scared of the dark, but maybe they should be more scared of you, Ace. Oh, snap. Hey, Mr. Frost, what are you doing hanging around this abandoned house? I'm drawing inspiration, of course. It's so wonderful, dearie. It gives me permission. In fact, I'm quite tempted to buy the place and turn it into an artist retreat for like-minded individuals. You might change your mind once you hear that a murder has been committed nearby. The victim, Sir R.J. Fielding, is that right, Emil? Oh, a murder with perfect timing. It'll push the value down even further. I've never heard of this part of your fellow road. Now, excuse me, I need to call my real estate agent. He's a kid the Royal Russians not pulled him from fun, so one of the ghosts of the to find him dead himself. Any leads on how he was killed? The trace of core form, form around Julie's job confirmed that he was knocked out prior to the murder. Just for the bruising on his lower body, your killer dragged him to the bridge unconscious. Well, that's not good. So your killer then struggled upside down with a rope, but the human body is not designed to remain inverted for long periods. Gravity caused your internal organs to drop down, squashing your lungs and resulting in asphyxia. The feeling is basically suffocated death after being hung upside down. Oh, that's a little way to go. That's not all your kill of traces of a chicken fried steak on the rope when they tied him up. I had that. So a kill eats chicken fried steak, do they? They made a mistake when they committed murder. Bad pun, I know. A little recap. Ace, you're not gonna believe this. What is it, Hope? I just intercepted a police radio transmission. Greg Schmidt has escaped from the psych hospital. Oh, brother. I wonder if he's the one who killed him. Anyways, guys, so see you guys in the chapter 2. This is my Pachinko's We're back. Let's head on to chapter number 2. Where. Greg Schmidt has escaped. The very same. He ambushed a security guard at the hospital and stole his gun. He's armed and dangerous, and more importantly, the police say he's hiding in the gun. Man, in the last 90 days, we can't let this get in the way of our investigation. We better keep an eye out for Greg. No victim visited the abandoned house. Let's scour the yard for clues. And honestly, he might be very helpful. Oh, that was a very good picture. I says, I'll keep it on that picture next time.
there by the hotel. Return his goggles and ask if he saw something. Ah, the shirt even says, I see dead people. Or I'll add it during the, um, do it in between while I'm star collecting. Ace's map of the hospitals where Greg was being held, and that looks like a plant the pot like an escape route. It confirms that transmission hope intercepted Greg's hiding somewhere nearby. We need to tread carefully, Greg. It's not only his great arm, but he's definitely a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Let's find Greg and see if he tells anything about Field and Word. Strange people keep in touch with their childhood friends. No, I could listen to why you wouldn't catch me at a high school reunion. No, that might just be because I usually get kicked out before I can make friends. Anyway, what'd you bring up? He uses a photo that Dave has to build in his college days on his phone. It shows him and Axel Ross. Wait, but he never claimed to have heard of Fielding when he spoke to him. So what is that right here, Ace? Let's ask Mr. Ross why he lied. Ace, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you since Nevada. We're here to return your goggles. We've found them outside the abandoned near house nearby. What were you doing there? Oh, the usual scouting out locations for new videos. Rumor had it that the place was super haunted. Well, speaking of haunted, does the name Abigail Riley mean anything to you? Nope, and the house was a total letdown. I didn't see anything ghostly or otherwise. People think that being a content creator is easy, Ace. But the internet never sleeps. I'm gonna have to vlog eating my chicken fried steak to dinner just so that I have something to post. I hear you, man. I hear you. It's hard. It's hard when you don't have like when you can't get the real job. If it's your only job, it's really tough. It's rough. Officer Schmidt, are you out of here? Officer under attack. I repeat, officer under attack. I need backup. It's just us, officer. Remember, base, right? Yeah, you came to interrogate me while I was being held unlawfully against my will. If I've escaped from my captors, I'm going to solve the tarot card murder once and for all that everybody will know I'm not crazy. Well, we uh, support you 100%, but we're going to need you to hand over the gun that you took when you banned for the security guard. I mean, your captor as you escaped. Gun? I don't have a gun. I wish I did. It's awfully scary out here in the dark. You know what I also wish I had? Some chicken fried steak. I haven't eaten it in hours. We'll rustle up a snack for you, officer, but I'm afraid you're going to have to stay with us for a while. Why did you lie when you asked if you knew Archie Fielding? Because he was dead to me long before he was killed. Archie and I went to college together and he recently got in touch saying he wanted to reconnect with my, my favorite dinner chicken fried steak. But clearly he'd forgotten what a jerk he was at school. He bullied me for years. He kept locking me in the cupboard even though he knew I was afraid of the dark. So I turned him down and spent the evening lesson in my building Kelsey and Rutger instead. Besides, it's not like I, a visionary artist, would have been angry to discuss with a corporate slave. Well, if you knew R.G. Fielding, you probably should have heard of someone who was in a circle of friends, a certain Abigail Riley. The name doesn't ring any bells. Now, I came here to pay, so if you excuse me, we all know the masterpiece coming on. Hey, so if everything had a noxious switch from out of misery. Now, what do you say we take another look around this house?
change your own save, but this place gives you a creep save. So the server is kind of leading up to it, so the server we can get out of here. What else if somebody stomped on it? And right, that is Dylan's hat. I was missing the one powder body. I can make up some of the powder my tail, so stomped on his hat. And as you recall, Fields can attract mystical memories from here. Right, let's put this one back together. Let's have to fill this out on the microscope. from the Crystal Cave of Arizona. We only know of one sister who visited those caves, Zeke Davis. Zeke got mentioned in argument with Gildan. We were Zeke to sit close to RV after we caught him up around our crime scene. Let's ask him what happened to Gildan. You do it through the super chat at will. Hey, did you have the magic mirror thing working, Felix? Magic mirror thing requires a delicate balance of incantation and time between instruments to actually see anything. Not just like pushing on a off button. Alright, alright, did you, did you get it working? Of course I did. Prepare to have your mind blown in this. See, the mirror captured your impression of the ghost, the angry spirit of Abigail Bradley. So the ghost was there. You knew she had to get involved if she feel like murder. Yes, but she had help, and I couldn't see who she was talking to. But someone was agreeing to kill Fielding. Bingo, that can all make sense. Instead of possessing Fielding, forcing him to kill, Ghost decided to murder her final victim outright with human help. Plus, I got a lead on the human accomplice that I did. I see there was some music playing in the background. Most of the was in the musician called Billy Kelson, instead of Willie Nelson. He was one of the pioneers of outlaw country music. Your killer must be a fan. So our killer listens to Billy Kelson, do they? They're outlaws for real now. There's no blood in their hands. I really forgot. Max and Ross mentioned being a fan of Kelson, so I'll note it down. Oh, Hope, you're really helping us out. Ah, uh, of course. I was going to say. I wonder if he's been working with the ghost to get an exclusive. But anyways, guys, so get chapter 3, which is 8. For now. 
Let's, everybody's gonna skip through some of this stuff. Could Ryan be? Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a nice yeah. chapter art. Yep. Hello, Lonnie. Lonnie, you said you didn't know anything supernatural about that abandoned house, yet it appears you apparently filmed an interview with a ghost there. I, I, well, I was too afraid to tell you the truth. I didn't encounter Abigail or Riley's ghost. I was so excited. My first conversation with the Phantom. I explained to her how I dedicated my life to exploring the paranormal and that my trended followers would be delighted when I told them I'd spoken with the Spectre. And that's when she offered to go one step further. She said she'd let me film an interview with her as long as I did something in exchange. Please tell me you didn't agree to talk to you again. Oh no, of course not. I just agreed to convince him to go to the house. I figured the ghost would just give him a bit of a fright. So you can imagine how I felt when you told me he'd been killed. I, ho I really hope you're telling the truth, Ronnie, because if you kill Fielding, just for an interview, we will find out. Let's take another look outside that house, that, that Trevor. I mean, A. A. Not Trevor. Sorry. We already know the ghost has possessed people that they don't remember what happened, so. Yep. Yep, then we can go into the AI. I'll, I'll say this, um, the AI is really A gag order is just a restraining order. You're not allowed to talk about anyone. Uh, it's a fan it's a kind of fancy name for it then. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, we know who that belongs to. Hold on a minute. That really sound, sounds Mr. said that Rex saw the gun when he escaped from the hospital. But when we spoke to Rex, he denied it. Clearly, he lied. Let's ask him why. What a surprise. People lie. Oh my word. They lied to him, Ray. Again. Oh dear. Um, I begin to 
I am not for that. I mean, I didn't see that, Ace. You must be here for that letter. In case I'm wrong, it was a godsend. Let me to the jurisdiction in which the gag order was filed. Which allowed me to locate the official records. And that letter was sent to Arthur Darkwood. Who then sent Arthur Darkwood a gag order? But, and Arthur claims he didn't know Jude him personally when we questioned him before. Let's find out why, Ace. We might not know him personally, if he's just, if he wrote a book about him. Yeah. Ace, this has been lovely, but I must get back to work. As much as I like Billy Kelson's music, I can't stand around listening to it with this lizard fellow all night. The lizard alley. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere, officer. You need to tell us why you lied about having a gun. Well, you just sound like that fielding guy going on about how I shouldn't be carrying a gun. Has everyone forgotten that I'm a law enforcement official? It's my job to, po to point a gun at bad guys like him. Whoa, rewind. Are you telling us you got caught with fielding? Well, I attempted to elicit a conversation from the individual suspected of a murder five years ago, yes. Fielding would just reveal what he and his friends did. I can prove my ghost theory and people would start taking me seriously. The fielding outright refused. Said he died before confessing. Please tell us. Police officers don't murder people, Ace. I simply retreated to reassess tactics. I, I've, seen, I've seen things that say otherwise. Arthur Darkwood. To me, he sounds cold, cold, like he, he sounds like British, like when he's born. <laughs> Hey Ace, I sure hope the police will open the road by the time I'm done fixing my tire. I didn't want to say anything earlier, but I'm kind of scared of the dark. You can listen to Billy Kelson and I'm helping. That's ironic, giving you, giving you road Oh, whoops. Because I was hoping to forget it ever happened. Archie and I bumped into each other in a bar a few weeks back, and we got to talking, had a few drinks, but as the night wore on, we got progressively drunker, and he started coming out with the weirdest stuff. RJ said he didn't deserve the life he had. They never should have found that oil reserve, which made him rich. It sounded like an interesting premise for a story. So a new season of weird stuff was just picked up by the network and in desperate new material. So I jotted it all down, but then I received that gag order from his lawyers. And did Fielding mention a certain huh? Abigail Riley uh, or a uh, ghost? Uh, no, he didn't really mention any ghosts. Normally that's the writer's job, dreaming up what supernatural creatures. Ace, give me a status report. We're any closer to solving this murder? Identifying the human accomplice to help the ghost kill. The, who helped the ghost. Um, Ronnie Hart admitted to helping her law fielding into the house, but denied any knowledge of the murder. Greg Smith, um, meanwhile, confessed to trying to extend a com Accept the confession from the victim at some point, but think not to have gone any further. Well, this murder... A I murder? Sounds like if I touch your IV, I will find a body. Am I wrong? A Matheson? Well, this isn't a good time. We're neck deep in... In what exactly? I know you were up to no good one for, from day one. And now I have finally caught you red-handed. You're under arrest. Under arrest? Hold on a... Another word and I'll cut you off too, son. Out of my way. Now, get out of my way. Oh, man. This is all we wanted. Um, Ace. We got murder ghost and her accomplice on the loose and now our chief have been arrested. You're right. There's nothing we can do to help the chief, but we can finish this investigation. Um, let's return to the scene of the crime. And they've been going so well with returning to the, to the scene in chapter two. Something tell me, tells me Matheson's going to lead us to the next district. He seems to be a causal link in everything. I, 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 I kind of like Matt, Matheson's character, but he's, he's kind of annoying. Like my 
How do you say your name? Priya. Priya at one place. Sorry. No worries. Well, yeah, and that's the way I say it too. So I guarantee you, if I was, if I had like an act, a better accent, I'd say it differently. But I mean, I mean, I, I did. I actually called him. It takes me back to the good old days. Jake getting in trouble with the authorities. Of course, I used to be right in there with him in custody. Hey, I'm actually small town cops for one thing. But having an FBI in our case ain't great. Madison's out for blood, and the chief ain't good at sweet talking his way out of the jam. But we gotta focus on the case. I can turn the handkerchief you sent me with soaking chloroform and used to knock building out. I found traces of his skin cells on it. But I also found traces of foreign DNA, which, which must have come from your killer. And it wasn't much, but I can tell you that killer has green eyes. I, I didn't. Oh. Well, we're looking for, well, we've got a green light there is that this green eyed killer, Ace. I haven't, I, I didn't know who had green eyes. But I. I did. think only the redhead, at least from my perspective, did. But Ace, yeah. is it true that the chief has been arrested? Afraid so. Madison is on our case big time. Which means we need to solve this murder ASAP. Then I'll cut to the chase. See, a quick cleanup job allowed me to determine that underneath all the mud, those fibers from the rope spool were pale yellow. It's found traces of your victim's rope on blood. Those fibers must come from your killer. And they're wearing pale yellow Ace. So, a killer wearing pale yellow. Yellow. They're, they're yellow. Bellied. Belly behavior has earned them a put on tip. I hate light when they. Also, I think I need one suspect wearing yellow. I think. Um, Ace, it's a funny time to learn who helped the killer if Rose killed Fielder. Hold up, you two. You've got a human killer and a grouchy ghost in your hands. Don't tell me you're thinking of going to this alone. You know, don't even answer that. I'm coming as backup, whether you like it or not. Fine, but leave the put on to me and Ace. Now, let's go get, get them, Ace. Yep. I, I don't know if, um, Red Hat... It's either him? Oh, it's gonna be him, for sure. The Arctic side. Yep. That's not surprising. No. He's the one who disliked him the most. Mm. It's almost like it was planned. From the very beginning. Uh, is it Alice Brown? I think it is. Axel. They're under arrest for the murder of A.R.J. Fielder. 
and we know you attach to the soul property because right in the most his unconscious body to the grid. Then you hand him upside down and let him to die. I might be inspired by the ghoulish, but I don't have to kill someone for it. No, but you but you did do it to help a ghost, weren't wouldn't you? Ghost? What are you even talking about? You know what we're talking about. The ghost of Abigail Riley. You said you you'd never heard of her, but you were lying, weren't you? Alright, I confess. I loved Abigail when she was alive, and I love her still. Oh. Still? You bring us up a ghost? Yes, Abigail may no longer be corporeal, but we still love each other. So when Abigail told me she wanted to kill him dead, I pledged to help my beloved. And Galen deserved it and more. He and the other sacrificed my beloved Abigail to a demon. A demon? That was sealed in under something where someone in secret to ritual? Yeah, it started off as nothing more than college lark. They heard rumors that something a demon would oblige to bestow knowledge on them and thought it, it'd be fun to try it. What they hadn't bargained on was a demon asking for something in exchange, Abigail's life. Gilding and the others could have stopped the ritual there and then, but instead they decided to sacrifice Abigail to the demon and they valued knowledge over her life. In exchange, the demon told them the location of natural resources, which would make them rich. Gilding learned the location of the oil deposit, Justine, the gold mine, and so on. So that's why you hand, you hand, um, you hung with him up like a hammer, like a hung man, ter terracotta, because it was to do, because it was to, to fight the mood god Odin, who prepped himself, from, who defended himself from pain in order to gain knowledge. Yeah, how funny, you're not as dumb as you seemed during our last encounter, Ace. Okay, you stay away. Abigail, this has to stop. You punished the culprit. What more do you want? I want you to let my dear Axel go. We can't do that. He committed a murder. Then I guess I'll just have to use you as leverage. <gasps> uh, I felt a ghost go inside of me. I can't control my arms. <sighs> of course. Oh. We're taking Luke with us, Ace. If you come after us, Abigail will make him pull the trigger. Oh my goodness, Ace, the ghost and Axel run off with Luke. Ace, this is terrible. You have figured out that Axel Ross killed Gilding out of love for the ghost. When you wanted to arrest him, the ghost possessed Luke, and now Axel and the ghost are on the run with him. If only the chief were here, he'd know what to do, but Agent Mathis has got him in custody. It's up to us to figure this out, Ace. Let's get down to work. Now, let's go into the additional investigation, and we gotta hurry this up because I gotta leave in like 15 20 minutes. So, this has gotta be, I gotta talk very fast. So, we're gonna go straight on to the additional investigation. Yep, we know that. Yep, yep, yep. We just were there. And you better talk Madison into releasing him. Hey, so all this time was Miss Justine would never kill anyone, but the bat actually got claimed she and her friends allowed Abigail to be sacrificed to a demon. We need to hear just inside the story, Ace. I'll be waiting for you at the prison once you're done speaking with Mas Matheson with Felix. So let's, let's end up doing Matheson's part so that we can kind of solve that portion of it. Do you want me to do Matheson? No, I'll, I'll, fin I'll finish it off until Luke comes back because it'll go by a lot quicker. Agent Matheson, I know this is going to sound strange, but we have an emergency. We really need our chief back. Wait, what kind of emergency could you freaks possibly have? Well, if you must know, our friend has been possessed by a ghost. <laughs> Good one, Ace. What do you think? This is an episode of the Y Files. Yeah, sorry, we're fear we're serious. There's no time to explain, but we can prove it to you if you come with us. We even hand you a human killer. If you're not convinced by the time we're done, you can charge us with whatever you like. You're darn right, I will. I'll I'll fetch your chief. Ace, is it true? Abigail's ghost possessed Luke and made him run away with Axel. Oh yeah, and we need to find them ASAP. Agent Madison will be joining us on our fun family outing to exercise a ghost. You guys do know I can still change my mind, right? So just you cool with the attitude. Sorry, man. We gotta go check outside the abandoned house ASAP. We'll explain everything on the way. Yeah, I just gotta speak a little bit quicker because we got I gotta get done with this soon. Yeah, he's got something. He's got something going on this week for sure.
So let me get this straight. We're out here to figure out where a ghost and a human accomplice took your buddy. Yeah, pretty insane, isn't it? You guys thought working for the FBI was wild. Cut the small stack. Cut the small talk, you two. We found out we else ride this notebook case. Get it unlocked quickly. Yes, sir. And a notebook having this super secret thing. That's pretty impressive. Oops, sorry. You have to go to the notebook and open ace. Congratulations, you managed to pick a simple lock. Now what? Now we figure out where the ghost and axe might take them loot. Felix, take that notebook back to your RD and see what you can find. Did we not check the house? Or maybe we're going back to the bridge. We're probably going back to the bridge. Oh, this is where people spend your time cooking up theories about things that go bump the night, isn't it? What's the matter? Trying to get scared about seeing a real life ghost agent? Hey, come on, guys, let's focus. Any leads on where the ghost might be headed with Lou? Well, Abigail was a keen artist, just like Axel. Her notebook was filled with sketches and statues from the garden of a nearby museum. She clearly loved it there. Well, then, with any luck, that's where the ghost and Axel might have taken Lou. Have you got everything you need for an exorcism? Well, candles and sage are the ready, but there's one problem. When we find Luke, Axel is sure to be nearby. We can't risk him interfering in the exorcism. Well, the FBI would offer a statue grab, sneak in, detain Axel, and then make your move on the ghost. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? I almost forgot that this whole thing is a joke. Well, that could actually work, Ace. Who would have thought you'd come in useful, Agent? Alright, so we agree. Let's sneak into the museum and catch Axel so he can't stop us exercising the ghost from Luke. Where are you, my beloved? Axel Ross was detaining you for the murder of RJ Fielder. Cuff off Madison. Can't believe I'm taking orders from you people. Well, fine. I'm taking you into FBI custody, Mr. Bross. Quick, Ace, we need to go to perform that exorcism on Luke before the ghost realizes what happened. The power strike compels you. <laughs> With a giant cough. There we go. Matheson, you and I better stand aside. Felix will handle this. Abigail, we demand that you show yourself. How dare you come here? Take one step closer and I'll, bl and I'll blow your, bra your famed brains, brains out. That won't help, Axel. And that's right, we have him in custody. Oh, evil spirit, I drive thee out of this body. No, stop! Relinquish your hold on this innocent soul. Uh, this won't be the last you see of me forever, I know. Yeah, you've had a rough time with it, Luke. You should get yourself back to the base. And as for our friend here, you okay, Agent? I, I, oh. Oh my gosh, I don't have time for this, Matheson. Get up. I, but a go the, there was a ghost in, inside that boy. Yes, and she'll possess. Yes, and she'll possess someone else if we don't do something and quickly. We must convince her to pass over to the other side. Axel knows Abigail better than anyone else. We should be he should be able to help. Matheson, you've got him in FBI custody. Take us to him. Well, the, well, the game's over, Mr. Bross. You're under arrest for the murder of RJ Fielding. Abigail will come for me. Okay, well, let me handle this, Madison. Look, Axel, it's over. Everyone involved in Abigail's death has been punished. Jesse and Justine are in jail, and all the others are dead. But none of that is going to bring Abigail back. She needs to find peace. <sighs> You're right, Ace. I want Abigail to be able to move on. And that's where you come in. How can we help her find peace? Well, she's angry. She can't really see past her friend's betrayal. But if Abigail's reminded that someone truly loved her, maybe she'll find peace. Abigail was wearing a ring I gifted her when she died. I looked for it, but I never found it. If you can return it to her, she'll be reminded of the love I felt and still feel for her. Well, thank you, Axel. We'll leave you in Agent Matheson's hand. And Ace, we need to return to that house to find that ring. Agent Matheson can join us there. And we better grab a snack on the way. Well, at that point, if I was Agent Matheson, I'd just be like, alright, I'm peace now. You can tell me how everything uh, comes out at the end. I don't really want to deal with any of this stuff.
Why would a ring be in there? Hey, it's getting the ring activated to Abigail and that flower pot. We better look through it. We're on chief. Let's search the flower pot. Maybe it's a fake flower pot, so it would have lasted all that time, all the five, six years. Imagine if it was a fake. Oh wow, very basic ring. That ring from the flower pot that is the one that actually gave to Abigail. I just hope he's right about it being enough to convince her to pass over. Oh, I know what's happening. We're all having some sort of group hallucination. I think we saw earlier was just a figment of our imaginations. Well, seeing Abigail pass over might convince you otherwise. Let's go, Ace. We're going to be proving wrong. She does not look happy. Her eyes are gray. That's funny. Haven't you been feared enough, Ace? Abigail, you need to end this. Everyone involved in your death has paid for their crimes, as have their innocent loved ones. Nobody's innocent in this world. Besides, my so-called friends were happy to watch me die. So I figured their punishment should be able to watch the people that they love die. Well, we know you suffered, but there are people in this world who loved and supported you like Axel. He asked us to return this ring as a sign of his love and tell you that one day you'll reunite in the afterlife. But for now, he wants you to find peace. Oh, my dear Axel, always wanting the best for me. Tell him that I'll be waiting for him on the other side, Ace. Oh my gosh, Ace, I'm sorry for not believing you before. Please say this as an apology. Aw, oh, sad ghost. Alright, now let's see if we can reunite Gwen with her love. Like, nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> Gwen, I'm so happy to s cut out, Justine. I believe you were innocent all this time. But you weren't. You were an accomplice in Abigail Riley's death. Oh, wait. You know about that? Yes. And it was Abigail's ghost that possessed you and made you kill your sister out of revenge. A, a ghost? Well, that's insane. Not as insane as something a demon letting them kill your friend, and for what? To become rich? Oh my gosh, you really do know everything. Believe me, not a day goes by that I don't regret what we did. We were young and stupid. How do you even know how to summon a demon? We got a spellbook from some local woman calling herself a witch. All she asked for in exchange was some cat tail pollen mixed into a paste. A local witch? And that's who we need to talk to. Wish we were parting ways on better terms, Justine, but I wish you well for the future. Me too, Gwen. And please, take this money. It was never really mine, anyways. I'll take the money from all the oil stuff as well. Ace, I feel like such a fool for believing Justine's innocent act, but that's the least of our problems, because she and the others summoned a real-life demon. This demon must be the malevolent force Dr. Aculus was worried about, the one that strained life out of the land. And Justine said they got the spell to summon the demon from a local witch who requested cattail pollen paste in exchange for the information. If you wanted to tell us how to get rid of this demon, we better get on our good side. I think I saw some cattail plants down by Devilman's Bridge. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's right below it, yeah. Well, those are definitely cattail plants. Ace, can you collect some of that pollen? Sure. NBD. Yeah, you're right. Gwen's profile did say that she's unlucky in love. Basically, the, the whole, her whole arc is that way. So far. They better not do that with her. It, it, 
it's it like what they did in the earlier series, where um, whenever David or it was David or Frank or whatever fell in love with someone, they always turned out to be the killer. Yeah. Hey, yeah, there's some problems with those cattail plants, but it can mix it into a pace. I just hope this will be enough to get the witch talking about that demon just seeing the other something. Let's get to Paul and Priya. And yeah, this is not a new streaming time, it's just a time because I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done in preparation for um, the holidays and stuff, and so I had to get on a little earlier than normal. Yeah. That's fine. Hey Gwen, I heard about Justine. I'm so sorry things didn't work out for you. Well thanks, Priya. I just can't believe I'm such a bad judge of character. But anyway, we've got bigger problems on our hands. We need that witch to give us the deets on this demon. Have you got that pollen? Yep. Cattail pollen is a common spell ingredient. I'm going to mix it into a paste and add some rose water to make it extra potent. Thanks, Bray. Now it's time to see what this witch can tell us about the demon. Let's go. Oh, dear. Only got seven more percent. What do you people want? My bones are aching and I'm in no mood to deal with the whippersnappers. We brought you this cattail pollen. See? We need your help. Do you recall some college students who came to you five years ago wanting to know how to summon a demon? Ah, yes. A bunch of kids craving power. The fools. Did you help them? Why not? We all must learn from our own mistakes. Who didn't summon a demon or two as a youngster? Learn from their mistakes? Well, you could say that. They're all in jail or dead. More importantly, what happened to the demon? Is it still in our world? Mm, most likely. Once a demon is summoned, only another demon can send it back to the netherworld. Oh, Great. So if this demon is still on Earth, how do we find it? Find it? You don't. Demons can assume a human form. They walk and talk like you or me. But they're invincible and have powers we could only dream of, like teleportation. But of course, these powers must be fueled somehow. Demons drain the life force of others to sustain them. Wait, then you let those kids summon it into our world? Eh, I'm partial to a bit of chaos. Now be gone with you. Oh, brother. Wow, hey, so we learned a lot more about the demon that Justine and company summoned from that witch, Agnes Lee. Apparently demons have a whole host of powers, from teleportation to taking on a human appearance, and worse, they can be banished by a human. This means that the demon is probably still around, we wouldn't even know that they're a demon. Not to mention that there might be others. Ace, hey, let's regroup to consider our next step. And also think who, who's been on this team for less than five years. I'm always thinking there's going to be someone tra being a traitor. Ace, hey, so I can't believe I fell for the wrong person yet again. Justine wasn't innocent at all. At least you didn't get possessed by a goat. Oh. I take it you managed to convince Abigail Riley to pass her book, Ace. Yes, and Axel Bross is safe in FBI custody. And speaking of FBI, Agent Bass won't be bothering us again. He had a rude awakening seeing a ghost for the first time. I have to admit, it turned out he was right about the ghost all along, but since he's not safe to be released, we could turn him to the hospital. Ace and I also made progress learning about the demon that was summoned. According to Witch, you gave Fielding and company the spell. They're unkillable, able to take on human disguises, and have crazy powers like teleportation. This particular demon must be responsible for the livestock deaths in the southwest since they began when it was summoned five years ago. But since demons can enter our world via summoning spell, there might be others out there. Alright Ace, the strangest thing that happened. I can't be sure where the email, email originated from, but it came from a server in the Rockies. What? But Ace only just spoke to the witch. Okay, clearly see somebody's keeping tabs on us, so if that email came via the Rockies, that's where we're headed next. For sure. Definitely think that that's his. Oh, jeez, that looks like a gruesome murder. Oh, we're going over to the rock. Oh, werewolves. Oh, Priya. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, man. So that was the ghost one, this was the vampire one, this one's the werewolves. Awesome. Well, thanks, Bonnie, for hopping on. Um, fine. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we were able to get through it. So, 
Thank you guys all for coming. I'll be on next Saturday, um, where I'll be doing some more, um, some more recording. So, I th yeah, let me just double check. It's twenty sixth. Yep. So it's it's next uh, it's next Thursday. So I'll, I'll be on the twenty eighth. So see you guys later. Some pitching easy eight. Over now.